Hello and welcome. I am Tamilarsi, your business coach. In today's video, we are going to dive deep into a topic that's crucial for every business yet often misunderstood. The cost of goods sold are COGS. We will unravel what it exactly is, how it impacts your business financials, and how you can control and manage it effectively to boost your profitability. Let's get started. 1. Understanding the Basic Concept of Cost of Goods Sold COGS. COGS stands for Cost of Goods Sold, which is essentially the total cost associated with producing goods that have been sold by a business. It includes direct costs like raw materials, labor costs, and direct factory overheads. Understanding COGS is vital as it helps businesses make informed decisions about production, pricing, and inventory management. Two. Importance of calculating the cost of goods sold in business operations. Calculating COGS is equally important for all businesses, be it small or large. It's simple math the lower your COGS, the higher your gross profit. By determining COGS, businesses can set competitive selling prices, plan budgets, and calculate taxable income. 3. Step-by-step -step guide. How to calculate cost of goods sold. To calculate COGS, start by adding the cost of inventory at the beginning of the year to purchases made through the year. From this total, subtract the cost of inventory left at the end of the year. This will give you the COGS. 4. The Role of COGS in Financial Statements COGS is not just a figure on your balance sheet. It plays a significant role in shaping your income statement and cash flow statement, reflecting your business's overall financial health. It is used in defining gross profit, which in turn affects net income and retained earnings. 5. Analyzing the direct impact of COGS on gross profit. COGS and gross profit share an inverse relationship when COGS rises, gross profit falls, and vice versa. By controlling COGS, businesses can significantly enhance their gross profit and, consequently, their bottom line. 6. The correlation between COGS and inventory management. Effective inventory management has a direct impact on COGS. By managing your inventory efficiently, you can ensure minimal wastage, lower storage costs, and optimal use of resources, thereby reducing your COGS. 7. COGS vs Operating Expenses – Know the difference. While both COGS and operating expenses are costs, they differ in their nature and impact. COGS is associated with production, while operating expenses are linked to administration and sales. Understanding this difference is vital for accurate financial analysis and reporting. 8. Why lowering COGS can boost your business profitability? Simply put, a lower COGS means a higher gross profit margin. By reducing COGS, businesses can enjoy larger profits without increasing sales or raising prices. 9. The effect of COGS on pricing strategies and market competition. COGS influences pricing strategies, as businesses must price their goods in a manner that covers COGS and yields a profit. It also impacts market competition, as businesses with lower COGS can afford to price their products more competitively. 10. How to efficiently manage and reduce your cost of goods sold. Managing and reducing COGS involves several strategies like efficient inventory management, sourcing affordable raw materials, and optimizing production processes. Businesses must constantly look for ways to control COGS to maintain profitability. As we conclude this video, I hope you now have a clearer understanding of cost of goods sold and its importance in your business. Managing your COGS effectively can unlock new doors for your business profitability. If you found this video helpful, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such insightful videos.